So next we're going to work on the hip flexors, the iliopsoas, so break it down between the psoas major, minor, and iliacus. We're going to get you to lie on your side there. Now. So you can't be working on the area? Yeah. Okay, so you start getting into it, I'm going to get you to take both. All right, he's back here. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So let's just get in there and help you a little bit first. All right, now. Let's do it this way first with a flat hand. Okay, take a leg back here. So we're talking psoas major. The origin is the transverse processes and bodies of the lumbar vertebrae, one to five. You okay? Oh yeah. And back. The psoas major inserts on the lesser trochanter of the femur along the iliacus. And his action is that it flexes the hip, laterally rotates the hip, and flexes the lumbar spine. Good, good, good. Okay. So I'm gonna actually just stabilize you a bit more here. I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit here in the table. And then I'm gonna take my arm down here. Now take it back. Good, I'm not pushing in too deep, am I? No. Nope. Oh, no. as far okay. as she goes. <laughs> yeah, but there's a huge difference, isn't there? Between... Oh my goodness. Okay, now, I'm gonna go down here just a little bit. Now bring that leg back. Arm up. I want you to kind of take your upper leg exactly. Oh my goodness! And rotate it just a little bit, not much. Pressure on there. Oh my gosh. Okay, now bring us back. Now, that little bit of action Mickey was doing in terms of bringing the leg around like this, yeah. you could feel that really deep, couldn't you? Yeah. So, at first, even though wherever my hand or arm was, yeah. As soon as you do that circumduction, oh, it actually accesses a much, much deeper level. Yes. Okay, so let's just move up here just a, a little bit now. Take it back. Okay, now bring this up here. Okay, well, that's a very, very important structure to release. And back, okay. Now I'm gonna move more towards the iliacus here, okay? You okay? Yes. Now bring it back. That's about it. That, that's far enough. Yeah. Okay. Now, now start getting a little bit more and bring it back at the same time. There we go. Oh. Back. Okay. So yeah. if you just bring it back, you can actually feel. You're actually getting more on it. More. Yeah. Yeah. Way deeper. So it, this is a great technique, but if you don't put the circumduction in, it's not going to be as effective. Good. I'm going to get you to lie on your back now, please. Come right over the edge here. Good. So I'll just get the action camera come around this side over here. We're near the end of the table. Take it down. Now, Mickey, I'm going to get you to just kind of lower this down here. Okay, so if I'm taking my forearm here, I'm not going on the elbow, I'm keeping the arm flat. Take it down just a little bit here. Feeling that quite a bit? Okay, back up again. Take it down. And up. Take it down. Okay, now. Okay, what I need to know is that how, what's the difference that you feel there? It's yeah, pushing apart all of the top layers and it's just kind of slowly going deeper and deeper into the muscle. Right. Now let me change my position just like a okay. half an inch or an inch oh. over here. Okay, same thing. Oh my goodness. Okay. You okay? Yeah. That's this a good one. one. It's gonna come over a little bit more medial. There we go. So obviously the critical thing here is to get permission from the patient to work on these areas. You know, continually communicate with them, ask them what doing. Good. Okay, bring the leg down here. Down to where, wherever your body that's will it. allow it to go. That's yeah, it, that's it. That's it. And then from that point, do a little bit of circumduction at that point. You okay? Yeah. What do you feel now? You feel it loosening. Yeah, I can feel it actually releasing. Yeah. It's almost like underneath yeah. my arm, it's softening. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to go really slow. And you may be on here for a while, could be 30 seconds or so. And then you feel it starting to let go and release. Mm. Good. So 
these are really powerful moves. Anyone suffering from low back pain, which the more majority of our patients actually do at some point or another, this is one way of actually releasing the hip flexors and it'll have a huge influence on the lumbar spine.